Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is January the 2nd, 2023. We are here to talk about polka dot today because it's been an extremely long time since I did a video. So I wanted to break through today and produce this video to show you what I think polka dot is about to do next. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what appeared the last time I did a video in polka dot, which was on October the 4th, 2022. I was looking for the price of polka dot to go higher. You guys can see that initially that didn't pan out. Okay, you guys can see right here that resistance was still holding strong. It was firm right there around $6.50, which I addressed on that video. So we should not be surprised as to why Polkadot did not go higher immediately because of $6.50. That's where the resistance was, and that is where it held firm and price in Polkadot went lower. Now, one of the things I will give you and say to you is that the only thing that I got incorrect in terms of my price prediction is how low I suspected support was going to come through instead of six dollars I should have lowered the support area all the way down to like five dollars and seventy five cents that is where I should have held my support area which I didn't do which I you all can see but if I did move this support area down here to five dollars and seventy five cents then that would give us ample amount of opportunity to stay in the play because the market ultimately came to our ultimate TP price in polka dot and it did it right here on november the 4th 2022 so maybe a month into this price prediction that is when the market in polka dot came to our ultimate tp price so we were correct in us expecting polka dot to go higher it just took the market a while for us to actually pan out and that's one of the negative things about trading and investing in the market is that you just don't know the time horizon to when the market's going to move but hey it happens so either way, how you look at it, it was right. My price prediction was right or it was wrong. It all stems down to the time period of when you look for the market to move. All right. So let's go ahead and take that out the way, though. And let's see how Polkadot has broken some massive areas of support, which was right here. OK, this is where the prior area of support was in Polkadot. And it's not good that it fell below five dollars. That's the first thing we need to talk about. Because if the buyers were really buying Polkadot at $5, we would not have seen this price bar right here form. And it did on December the 16th. So now we are definitely seeing a bear market in Polkadot. Like, look at this. Look at where price currently is. We are now trading at price levels in Polkadot that we haven't seen since like the beginning or the ending of 2020. We are now right back to where we started two, three years ago. That is crazy for us to actually come back to an area that we haven't seen in such a long period of time. So we need to focus in on where support is going to be here. OK, this is where our eyes needs to be focused on support in polka dot as to where we're going to look for the buyers. OK, so you guys can see that right now the market in polka dot is holding support around 450, which is logical because we were trading and holding support all the way back in November 2020 support here as well the next area you guys can see though is at four dollars that is going to be the next area of support for us to look for polka dot to move to that's pretty good area of support there too so we got four dollars here and then i would say 350 so it looked like support is being found in 50 cent increments first area is 450 second one's going to be four dollars third it's going to be 350 okay so now let's hit this back over to where we are at currently in price action and we can see that, yes, generally the overall broad brush movement of price in Polkadot is down. OK, we get it. But when you look at this on a different time frame, we're not actually seeing a lot of bearishness pan out. The only issue that I would say for us to really see Polkadot move higher is this resistance area there, which is around four dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, we can see the market in Polkadot get rejected there at four dollars and sixty cents. You guys can even tell it right here. Like the market is already telling us where the sellers are at. And it's here. Look at this. This one hour price bar is telling me that sellers came through because we saw the market run up to four fifty six, four dollars and fifty six cents. And then the close off of the highs. And on top of that, volume also came through. So what we need to do currently is we need to wait and see if the buyers are still here in the market in Polkadot. Because if they are, then guess what? We can look for the price to break four dollars six cents higher, maybe hit four seventy, and then possibly run all the way back up to five dollars. All right. So these are areas of resistance right here, right now. Okay, I'm here to tell you that. 
Now currently we are in an uptrend which is fantastic. The only issue is us looking for buyers to confirm price movement higher. Now am I looking for a lot in terms of price action? No I'm not. If anything I'm just pretty much expecting the market in Polkadot to trade sideways and ever so slightly inch higher in price. Okay. Now this is where support is. So guess what? We can actually anticipate market movement higher in Polkadot until we see price break $4.37. Okay, see, what I'm showing you all, I'm laying out the play field. I'm laying out the playing field as to where we're looking for buyers and sellers. Okay, so let me do this real quick. Now, I'm going to play some strength into the market of Polkadot. But again, let me tell you this from out the gate. This is not a massively bullish prediction. Okay, so let me show you what I'm looking at. Now, as long as Polkadot continues to hold this area here as support, $4.36, like we're going to look for the market to trend higher. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even take it this low. Let me go ahead and bring this down to the lows that occurred at $4.25. We'll do that. Okay. First price target, $4.60. That is 2.33% profit move right there. Second one. It's going to be around four dollars and seventy cents. That's four and a quarter, and third will be around five dollars. Okay, which is nine point six eight percent right there. Done, completed, finito, over. Let me go ahead and zoom in, put this back on the daily chart because this is how we look at the market on a daily perspective. And you guys got it. Okay. Now it's your turn. Hit me up. Video is done. Price prediction is completed. I want you all to tell me what do you see in Polkadot. Are we going to see the market trend higher? Are we going to see it continue to consolidate? Go sideways? Or do you think we're going to see the market continue to go lower? Join the team as well. Hit the like button. Hit the and also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different. I'm out.